Thanks so much for clicking on my video. I am Gina Padilla. I am a pediatric nurse practitioner at Northwest Pediatrics. So I am a pediatric nurse practitioner, so I focus primarily on infants all the way to about 23, 24, kind of as they transition into adulthood. And it's primary care with also kind of managing chronic conditions as well as acute care, preventative, all of that. So I did my bachelor's in nursing at Azusa Pacific University in Azusa, California, and I got my master's of science in nursing at University of Texas in Arlington, Texas. I initially went into medicine primarily for nursing. In high school, I had contact with and got really close with a family that had a little girl with chronic illness, and I was able to see how influential all of those nurses were not only in her life, but also in the life of the family, which kind of just led me right into nursing. Pediatrics is kind of where my heart has been from the beginning. At one point, I kind of toyed with being a teacher. Um, then I looked at that nursing with that little girl and it kind of changed my, my view on that. I love kids. I did some adult nursing and quickly realized that kids is where, or where it's at. I love the child and I love being able to help the family as they kind of navigate all of the things that that child might go through and as they're developing and learning and all that. I initially was in Texas uh, for about 10 years and I had my second child and quickly realized family is important and I have family up here and I wanted them to grow up around cousins and North Idaho, I don't know why anyone wouldn't live here. There are so many things to do specifically outside. You can go to the lake, you can go skiing, you can go hiking. and. I think it's really valuable for children to grow up with some of those experiences of being outside and getting dirty and playing in the mud and all of those things. And on top of that, it still has that small community feel where you can get to know your neighbors, which I think is extremely valuable. I have an additional certification in primary care pediatric mental health, which I definitely have a passion for. It, I feel like, gives me the opportunity and the ability to be able to help navigate some of those mental health kind of conditions and maybe issues that you start with maybe in childhood and especially with teens. And we are in a mental health crisis and I think a lot of people recognize that. So being able to help them as they navigate these things, whether it's helping with coping skills or um, further treatments for that, but being able to help them know that they're not alone, that they, it's common and that them seeking treatment or seeking help is the bravest thing they can do. And to be able to just um, help them as they interact with others and give them some of those skills so that they can use those lifelong. If we can teach teenagers and kids some coping mechanisms now, it will change their adult life. My proudest personal achievement Probably, if you had asked me this before kids, I would have said probably something like, uh, I ran a half marathon with my husband, or I did a century ride with my husband, uh, learning Spanish, those types of things. Since kids, I can hands down say without adult, being a mom. Being able to help them at times struggle with that, and tantrums are real, but being able to help them navigate some of those feelings and as they develop, uh, not just in early childhood, but as they go through the things they're going to experience uh, is the hardest thing I've ever done and the most rewarding thing I've ever done without a doubt. So my proudest professional achievement would be probably back in my nursing days. I was awarded um, top 10 nurses in one of the children's hospital systems in Texas uh, for not only my clinical knowledge, but kind of how I interacted with patients and how I served the community. And I can't tell you that the honor that that is, especially at that organization, which is wonderful. They have amazing people there and being able to to use, for example, for sleep studies. We took a doll and put little probes on the head so that we could show kids what it looks like with a sleep study. But those types of things and being um, recognized for that uh, probably made my entire life. I came to work at Northwest for a lot of reasons. Um, we have been presented with the opportunity to be able to build a practice that's centered around the patient. A lot of medicine these days, I think sometimes um, 
tries to do a one size fits all, and especially in kids that doesn't work. Every family is different. Being able to look at the parent and say, let's make a decision that works for your child specifically based on your family makeup and what your family might be going through and those types of things. In addition, I cannot think of a, a better place that we get to do that than Northwest where you can recognize that it's, it's like a family here and that people care about each other and people care about the patient. On top of that, I think it's a real benefit to be able to have all of your care as a family at one place, to be able to have parents uh, or older adults being able to be at a family practice and then having a place for kids that specializes in those kids and doing that all under basically one roof.